Retouching takes some time to do, yes, no doubt about it. But in today's video, I'm going to show you my secrets to how I retouch fast in Photoshop in 5 minutes or less. My name is Ekwadi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button to subscribe. And if you watch my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe because it really helps me. I really need it a lot. And please leave a like if you like this video or if it's helped you in any ways. Without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and start editing. So first and foremost, we're going to create our frequency separation adjustment. So we're going to duplicate this twice. Control J, and Control J. Then we're going to change the name to color. And then we're going to change this to texture. And then we're going to hide the texture layer and then click on the color layer. Then we're going to come to filter, move to blur, and then we'll move to Gaussian blur. Then we're going to move the blur radius down a bit to let's say Six, six is okay for me, so I'm gonna select okay. And then I'm gonna come to the texture layer and then on hide it. Then we're gonna come to image, apply image. Then we're gonna change the mesh layer to color. Then we're gonna leave the panel at RGB. Then we're gonna change the bless the blend mode. Maybe yours might be different, but if yours is different, just change it to subtract like it is over here. And then we're going to leave the opacity at 100, we're going to leave the scale at 2, and then we're going to leave the offset at 128, as you can see. Then we're going to select OK, and then select the texture and the color layer, and then group it. But before that, we're going to change the blend mode of the texture layer to linear light. So as you can see, we have our image back to how it was before. Like this. So now we're gonna go ahead and group it. Select both of them together by holding Shift and then clicking on the color, and then Control G to group. And then we're gonna change this to frequency separation. So I've done a couple of frequency separation tutorials on this channel, so you can check it out. In my previous video so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a layer between the color and the texture layer so we're going to press here just to create a layer and we're going to name this layer to tone yes so then we're going to move and then select the color layer that's what we're going to use to create our, our retouch so the tool we're going to use is the lasso tool so we're gonna keep the feather at 11, 11 pixels, 11.7, anything around 11 is okay. And then we're gonna move to the image now. So with the color layer selected, first and foremost, you're gonna do with the highlights. You can start anywhere, but you're gonna do it step by step. So you're gonna circle around the, in the, the side that you want to retouch like this. And then you come to filter, you move to blur and then Gaussian blur. Then you're gonna move the radius up. You're gonna move it up to you see that the selected part is looking smooth. Yes, so at 27, let's move it back a bit. 50 50 is not okay. So so 26.3 is looking good. So I'm gonna leave it at at start, I'm going to select OK and I'm going to move to different sides of the face. So I'm going to select, right click, and Gaussian Blur. Yes, so it's going to apply the Gaussian Blur to the face like that. Yes, I'm going to select here as well. Right click. So you're going to keep on doing this to the entire face or the entire portion you want to retouch like this so we keep on doing it So 
so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet kindly subscribe and please like the video if you're learning anything from it yet i'll be really happy and kindly leave your comments too in the comment section below i'll be glad to hear from you and interact with you and so you keep going until everything is smoothly done like this then we're gonna move to the tones and then we select the brush too and then opacity at 13 we're gonna sample that's any area around the image and just paint just to even out the skin just to even out the tones sorry so you're gonna continue doing it until you reduce the opacity a bit if you feel like it's, it's too much yes then you just paint it all Keep filling it up so everything is nicely done. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to do this using the mixture brush too. But this is the different way of doing it. You can reduce the opacity if it's too much for you. So let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. The before and the after so as you can see you didn't waste too much time on it just real quick and you're done now if you want to take your time and do it i made a video on it the other day so you can check it out and then try your hands on that as well if you learned anything from this video kindly give me a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to my channel and then leave me a comment in the comment section below and let's interact Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your time. See you in the next one. Bye.